So how's it going over in Pittsburgh Steeler country that Joe and Ellen McCarthy's boy is the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys? Um, I haven't checked in on that part <laughs> yet, but uh, no, they're obviously very proud and excited about being Dallas Cowboy fans. What, what about for you, uh, growing up a Pittsburgh Steeler fan, and now did you ever envision that this might come? Growing Back up, then? Yeah. No, not at all. I mean, it's, but hey, family first. So it's, <laughs> everybody's a Cowboy fan right now, but you know, Pitt, hey, my, my father still watches every Pittsburgh Steeler game, and you know he did the same when I was in Green Bay. So he'll he'll always be a Steeler fan, but uh, he's obviously a Dallas Cowboy fan also. So what did you say to Jerry that made him hear wedding bells? I don't know. You have to ask Jerry that. But it was it, we spent uh, it was a very long process. We spent a lot of time together, um, but uh, it just felt felt very natural. You know, really sitting there with Jerry and, and Stephen and and Jerry Jr. So um, I'm just thankful for the result. You know, when, uh, what about your reaction when he told you he wanted you to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys? Oh, I mean, it was emotional. Um, so, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a moment um, that not only will I never forget, I'll be talking about the rest of my life and, you know, the phone call to my wife. So, yes, that was a great moment. You know, um, back in 2000, at the end of the 2010 season, nine years ago, when you win the Super Bowl at AT&T Stadium. The thing that I was struck by was a family atmosphere in that post-game setting that this mm -hmm. Packers team. Is that the, the type of culture that you want to build? And, and, and what do you want to be the hallmark of your team? Oh, definitely. I mean, it, 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 it's really ran a lot like a family. And I think really the Jones family emulates that to the, to the umpteenth. I mean, it's something you feel right away, you know, working at this organization. So, I mean, just everything you go go through and and really with these players and their families, what they what they go through uh, to be successful in this business is a grind. So yeah, it's definitely the atmosphere we're looking for. When people see a Mike McCarthy coach team, what do you want them to see? Wins. I mean, I think it's all about winning, uh, but you know, we'll have a team identity. It's, it's important for us to play to that play style. And, you know, we'll get in that, into that into detail, you know, with the players when they get back. But, you know, every team plays a little differently. Um, everybody, you know, it's still football. It's, you know, it'll be about fundamentals and, We'll be aggressive with our schemes to make sure we're giving the players the, the tools to be successful. But you know you have to play the right way, and and that'll be a big focus of ours. You lifted a Lombardi Trophy nine years ago. It's been 24 years ago now since Jerry lifted a Lombardi. How close is this team to getting there? Well, I think it's a, a, a great question. I, you know, I, I think just when you look at the roster on paper, it's exciting, and, and I think we'll definitely be part of those conversations when when when, uh, when the season gets going. So. There's just so much work between now and then. Um, uh, make no mistake about it. That that is the goal. You know, it's it's about lifting the suit. You know, the Super Bowl Lombardi Trophy. And but there's just so much work to do right now. You know, when Jason Witten came back uh, this past uh, training camp, he said that he couldn't believe the progress that uh, Dak Prescott had made in a year and a half. I know that, that you even had a reel of Dak Prescott that you showed the Joneses from going back to the scouting combine. Mm -hmm. Where have you seen him grow? Because you saw him a pretty good quarterback, your rookie, uh, his rookie season when he won at Green Bay. And then yeah, lost definitely. The I, and I was, uh, I, and I remember that game clearly. I, I was so impressed with him live. You know, when he came up to Green Bay and just the way the composure that he played with, and because you really never know how strong their arm is, or you know, you really truly don't know until you see those guys live. And uh, you know, he's he made all the throws that day, and um, and obviously is really built off of that. But he's he's a tremendous player. How good can he be? I think he has a chance to be great. What has the last year done for you? Uh, it's given me a chance to just really reboot and, and reflect on everything that I've done personally and professionally. And I think it's clearly made me a better, you know, a better person throughout my whole life, you know, as, you know, as a husband, as a father. And it's given me a chance really professionally to look at things you really don't have time to do as a coach. So very thankful for it. You know, it's a great story. What, what advice would you give someone who maybe has just lost their dream job mm -hmm and for whatever reason, and then they're at a crossroads where they don't know what to do, what, where the next job is even coming from. Take the time to self-reflect and it'll cut the path that you, it'll show you the path that you need to take. I think it's really how it happened for me. Um, I, I, I've always been very honest with myself and probably maybe too critical of myself. And I, I think it's how a lot of us are wired in this business. But I, I think as, as as time got moving there in January and February, you know, last year, 
um, I was able to see, hey, I, I need to make sure I take the time to work on a number of different things, and it, ser it served me well. And how thrilled are the daughters that daddy has a job? Oh, no, they're, <laughs> I mean, they're, 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 I think they were pretty excited that mom and dad were out of time for a night, and they had, you know, had fun with the gals that were, that were babysitting them, so I think <laughs> it's, uh, everything's a party right now, but no, it's, they're, they're excited. They're excited about coming to Dallas. I appreciate it. Thank you.